hi guys uh, welcome to my channel uh, is my code uh, today i'm going to start a new tutorial uh, lecture of asp.net uh, core uh, along with uh, angular uh, all the asp.net uh, developers or even the basic uh, learners who wish to uh, learn something new uh, can uh, learn dotnet core with uh, angular uh, from this uh, tutorial for sure uh, i'll be including everything right from the software and tool setup to building a small scale application and deploying the same to iis uh, this tutorial will make sure uh, to answer all your queries and doubts if you have uh, any uh, through the comment uh, box you can drop in uh, the queries uh, into the comment box and I will make sure to answer them uh, I am sure that uh, most of the developers who are currently working in, in any .NET core uh, with Angular application uh, might have faced some challenges uh, regarding the session management or uh, binding the input controls etc so all such uh, small small issues will also be taken uh, care uh, here in this uh, tutorial so in today's uh, video this is the first uh, video I will uh, uh, just uh, go through uh, and tell you all the um, basic and the necessary steps uh, to uh, set up the core and angular in your, on your uh, system so uh, we'll be using the latest uh, version of uh, both uh, core which is 3.1 and angular 9 uh, through this tutorial you will get a one stop solution to all your queries related to uh, .NET Core with Angular. So uh, uh, let's start uh, with the uh, setup. Uh, we'll be needing uh, two tools. Uh, one is uh, Visual Studio 2019 for .NET Core, and uh, the other one is uh, Node.js for uh, Angular. Uh, for this, uh, your computer should uh, have uh, Windows uh, 10, and it has uh, it should have uh, 4 GB RAM and around 20 to 30 GB of free space. I guess all the latest computers uh, are pretty much equipped to take care of these uh, requirements. So let's uh, start uh, with the uh, setup. So in order to install uh, Visual Studio, you need to go to this uh, link visualstudio.microsoft.com uh, slash downloads. Uh, I will uh, provide this link in the description and uh, you can go through it. Uh, once you click on it, uh, you will get uh, you will come to this uh, page. Uh, you have the you have the community edition. You have the professional and enterprise edition. I am using the professional edition and it's already downloaded. Uh, if you wish to download it and if you have a Microsoft account, you can sign in uh, to your account and then you can download uh, uh, the edition. Otherwise, you can download the free trial. Uh, it will be available for 90 days. So for learning purpose also, free trial is uh, good enough. So once you download uh, this. Once you click on it, uh, a Visual Studio installer will be downloaded uh, like this. From here, uh, you guys are required to select uh, the necessary components uh, which you want to be installed. Uh, I have selected uh, Node.js development, uh, desktop development. Uh, these uh, all are necessary for your uh, uh, .NET Core plus Angular uh, development. So I have selected all these. Uh, these are other modules which is not uh, necessary so you can skip them and you can click on install here so once you click on install it will take uh, time of course and uh, it will get uh, downloaded eventually so once it uh, gets uh, downloaded you will have the uh, visual studio 2019 uh, as this when you will open it okay so this is the visual studio 2019 so this is the entry point of uh, vs 2019 I guess you, most of the guys will be aware of it uh, for the new uh, learners uh, if this is new so this is the entry point uh, next is the uh, node.js uh, installation for that uh, you can type uh, node.js node.js org uh, slash en slash uh, download you go to this particular site uh, if you are using a windows uh, computer then you, are, you need to click on windows otherwise uh, if you are using mac so you can click on this and once you click on it an exe file will be uh, downloaded to your system so I have that already on my desktop so uh, this is the basic uh, setup file you can just uh, click on it and then uh, start the setup uh, it will uh, compute your space uh, requirement make sure you have enough, enough uh, space uh, for this to run so once you click on the run and install it so the node.js will be uh, installed so this is uh, this is necessary for your angular uh, uh, section okay so both uh, 2019 visual studio 2019 and uh, node is necessary 
for the development of our application so let's uh, start uh, with the uh, once you are done I, uh, this uh, will take time uh, of course because uh, the 2019 uh, setup is itself around uh, 6 gb or 7 gb so once you are done with uh, both the setups uh, you can come to visual studio 2019 and uh, you can we can start uh, building the uh, our project dot uh, net core with angular for that uh, you can uh, go to create a new project once uh, it is open you need to make sure that uh, this is all project types and then you need to click asp.net core web application because we are going to build a web application like in asp.net uh, net we can uh, also build console application also and other apps also but here we are uh, dealing with .NET core web, web app so we'll click this and say next you can give any name you can uh, give your location where you want to save uh, the uh, application uh, code uh, I'm just uh, giving web, web app uh, 4 so this is fine say create so uh, once you uh, say create it will uh, load the application it will create it uh, at the back end okay in the next uh, uh, you can see here dot uh, net core is selected and uh, 3.1 uh, uh, which is the latest uh, version of dot net uh, core is selected here so you need to select uh, angular here uh, you can uncheck uh, this select angular here and then you can say create once you uh, click on uh, create your uh, web application will be created and the visual studio uh, will be open like uh, this okay so this will be the uh, entry uh, of your application okay so let me quickly explain what all these uh, folders uh, do okay uh, in the ww root when we uh, deploy our code uh, uh, to IIS uh, so this is the uh, ww root is the section where uh, our code uh, uh, which gets uh, compiled and uh, it is saved here so the interaction is uh, done through ww root uh, client app uh, we store everything related to angular we store in a client app uh, whatever components we create whatever uh, modules and packages we install everything gets uh, stored uh, here uh, inside this uh, source we have the components so client app is re related to angular uh, controllers uh, and everything this is related to the dot uh, net uh, core so uh, you can add your controllers you can add uh, uh, console, uh, console library here uh, as per your need so we'll look into this uh, in the other videos uh, so this uh, client app is for angular and controllers is for all your dot uh, net core related, related stuff okay uh, app setting dot json is your web config file you must have uh, seen web config file in ASP.NET and other applications so web config is uh, app setting.json works as a web config file okay okay so in order to run it uh, we have installed uh, node.js but we haven't uh, uh, installed the uh, angular cli so for that we need to open cmd and uh, type uh, start npm because uh, you installed uh, node.js so node.js command prompt npm uh, will be installed on your machine so this will be opened uh, automatically okay so once uh, it is there you can install your angular uh, cli now so for that uh, you need to write uh, this command Uh, this is the command which you need to enter a and then you need to press uh, enter uh, npm uh, install uh, this is the 
command i will give this uh, command uh, in the description you can uh, get uh, the command from the description box okay so i already have the uh, angular cli installed on my system so i can uh, check the version as i told you before we will be using the latest version of uh, uh, angular so angular the latest version is 9.1.3 so we are using that only to verify that uh, ng space is hyphen hyphen version uh, press enter okay once you click on that install uh, link uh, and your angular cli is installed uh, you will get uh, this uh, Uh, you will get this uh, image and uh, you will see this uh, plus angular at the uh, CLI uh, slash uh, CLI at the rate 9.1.3 okay it added uh, 771 packages from Android contributors okay so going back uh, to the npm command prompt so here we can check the version again 9.1.3 the node uh, version which is installed is also latest 12. Point uh, 16.3 okay so now we can uh, start uh, building our application for uh, that uh, also we need to rebuild uh, this uh, for the first time when you create the app when you create the web app uh, in the dotnet uh, core visual studio so when you say rebuild so it will uh, build all the packages and it will uh, run the uh, npm uh, commands uh, for angular also so it will take uh, several uh, minutes uh, so just uh, wait for that uh, for me it, it has uh, been uh, uh, the build has been successful and uh, I can uh, show you uh, when we run it I can show you how it uh, runs in the browser so you can click on IS Express you can uh, set your uh, browser here or you can say just control F5 So this is your page, the home page of your application, the default uh, page. Uh, so your setup is uh, complete here. Uh, everything else uh, will uh, take up in the next uh, lecture. We'll start uh, building uh, our application uh, eventually. So we'll also connect uh, through a SQL Server database. We'll fetch the data from there and then uh, we'll uh, post it on the UI. So I will uh, I will come up with all the lectures and. Uh, uh, I guess uh, it will be very helpful for you guys so let me know uh, in case you have uh, uh, any issues or questions uh, in mind I will post all uh, these uh, in the description uh, box all the necessary URLs and everything the command and uh, I guess uh, it will be very helpful for uh, you so let me know in case you need something thank you so much if you haven't uh, liked or subscribed to my channel please uh, do it and uh, thank you